Oh, oh what up, Dusty? Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on today? Putting the converter, circle D 3D feed converter in and some cooked long tubes in, the, in this 375 horsepower feed. Yep, this is Dusty's car. So he's getting a little work done on it today. 3DP, Cooks long tubes, X-pipe, and Magnaflow mufflers, taking off the stock manifolds, cats, and solo exhaust, which is for sale, by the way. The whole thing. Oh, whole okay. thing. It'll bolt up right to your cats and go all the way back. And it sounds pretty good. We're just trying to go for a little bit more power. We're hoping this will get us from the... 370s range to maybe peak 400 that'd be nice and then of course the 3dp so that when we do future plans on the engine in regard to more cam who knows so chris what are we doing today <laughs> <laughs> I'm just adding some time and taking out a little fuel too. Did you contact the dealer? They said they couldn't help. So we got it on the dyno now, Dusty's car. What did you do to this one now, Dusty, from the last time when it made 370? We did Cook's Inch and 7 8 long tubes with the X pipe and Magnaflow mufflers. So this is the test mule, I guess, but. That's the only changes we've done this time. Yeah, that's so far, we picked up 42 horsepower and 30 foot pounds almost. And we're still a little fat, so we got a little room. Oh, yeah, 32 horsepower. We're not done yet though. <laughs> now you're not done and uh, still a little fat, so we're gonna lean it out a little bit more. But improved everywhere, and especially up top. So happy with this so far. We knew Got the it. factory uh, manifolds and cats were restricted. I mean, but I didn't, I didn't know that it would be necessarily 32. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be quite that much. I was hoping for 400 when we were said and done. Yeah. And I think we got another 10 in it, I guess. And this is a BTR1 car, like we said before. Just simple streetable setup. I did, well, so I did do a Circle D 3DP converter, which really will affect the power. Uh, they were both locked up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just while the exhaust was down, you know, because we do have plans to put a red hot cam and try to kind of push the limit of that later. So we want to go ahead and put a converter in it that would take that. This is, so this is our doing it step by step. It doesn't have a ported intake on it yet either, correct? Right, and then we're gonna do that too. I think we're gonna do every little thing we can and then maybe throw the cam. Yeah. Whatever you think, you know, whatever you guys wanna see, comment, let us Yeah, know let us know what you think. What you and wanna try, you know. We'll do E85. E85. There's, there's a lot of, we got, just a test mule, I mean. And that way we can see every little detail on the things that make a difference and that don't really make a difference. So now this, for the people that like to just put a cam in there for the sound, you're really doing yourself a disjustice because this the headers actually make more of a difference than a cam does. A full bolt-on GA to make 360. His car only made 370 with a cam, but it picked up 30 some horsepower with just doing full exhaust. So the headers, well, I guess they would be about the same. Headers and cam together, about 60. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, yeah. obviously when you do a camshaft, you know, you're increasing the how much air you can get in and out and if you have a restriction in the exhaust it's gonna it's gonna be you know i'm not saying we're not saying you can put headers on a stock car and pick up 30 something you know it might be 20 something i really don't know we haven't really done that but, but yeah the more the you know the more modifications you have to your engine the more it needs to breathe and this is really helping so we'll get back here we're going to do a couple more pulls and see if we can't get a little more out of it done with this one again again <laughs> btr1 all we did was take the factory manifolds and cats off it had a solo mock cat back with the solo j's 
We took that off with inch and three quarter Cooks headers with their X pipe and MagnaFlow mufflers, and what we get? Yep, we ended up 39 horsepower and 36 foot pounds. So great gain. Only the exhaust was changed. This car is the one that has the BTR. It's got the graphs look the same because it still has the same cam. So the cam is still doing its same job. It's just able to get the exhaust out more. And it did need some tune work, which, you know, if you add headers to your car, you definitely need to get it checked up because this one went, um, actually went rich because it was pulling in more air. Mass airflow was reading a higher number and thus made the car rich overall. We also add, took out a couple degrees of timing up top as it just didn't make a difference. And there's no reason to have the timing in there if you're not if it's not helping you any power what were you saying about this there's no need to keep putting it on the edge you know yeah back down to where it's a good safe number the motor we always do That's the motor thing. will tell you what ha what it likes too because some cars like a little more timing and some you can take timing out and it makes the same if not more so i always take timing out until it actually starts losing power and then i know i'm pretty happy with the motor yeah for sure it's kind of like when you're leaning out a two-stroke or something you don't want to run it on the lean side you want to kind of run it on the rich side of power Yep. The same kind of thing, just to be on the safe side, but yeah, I think I think we kind of maxed out this camshaft. I mean, I think we could do a port in it. We could we could move the line up some, but I think we're still going to run up against because as you can see, like it's kind of flattens. Same and that makes sense for this cam. I would think it the max about. The good thing is it makes the same horsepower from fifty two hundred to sixty two hundred. Then it starts dropping. That's true. Yeah, and I mean it. It's a BTR1, so these aren't huge power numbers. We didn't expect them to be, but it is a lot better than 370. It's over 400. Yep. And let us know in the comments what you guys want to see us do next. If I, I'm thinking we should just go ahead and do the camshaft because I think because of the profile of this curve, I think it's out of camshaft. I think that adding air, adding efficiency to the inlet side of things is not going to make a huge difference. I think we should go yep. ahead and put like the red hot camshaft in here and you know, we might see 450 already. We could do heads, we can do a uh, ported rotted intake, E85, there's some uh, ported throttle body. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Uh, you guys are commenting a lot more and I appreciate that. So definitely post up what you think we should do next. We're open. Um, this car has a 3DP converter now, like you were saying before. Flash is about 38 to 4,000. So we've got a more converter. We could run a better, bigger cam, things like that. So. Let us know. Um, we've got a couple runs. Dusty got one from the front and on the back, so you guys should enjoy that. And we will listen to what you guys say and see what we should do next. Let us know.